The One Door Corporation is known around the world as a leading manufacturer of state-of-the-art fire protection equipment. The innovative One Door Fire Guard system recently installed in your building represents the most technologically advanced fire door assembly available anywhere today. At One Door, we are proud to be a part of a long-standing commitment to providing high-quality products at affordable prices, and we remain committed to providing fast and reliable support for any of your service needs. The purpose of this instructional video is to better acquaint you with the system, to help you understand how it works, to identify various fault conditions or trouble signals being regularly monitored, and to offer some simple suggestions on periodic preventative maintenance items. Let's first examine how the door operates. The UL-listed one-door fire guard assembly is designed to remain in the open position, typically in a storage pocket as shown here, and close only upon activation of a signal from either a smoke detector, a fire alarm system, or even a sprinkler flow valve. The door assembly operates on a 12-volt DC system, which includes batteries, a transformer, and a microprocessor. The 120-volt line connected to a junction box in the storage pocket near the control box is used to continually float charge the batteries at 13.8 volts. Upon activation of a building alarm, the door will close automatically. The rate of closing speed can vary between 6 inches and 24 inches per second, but is typically set to close at approximately 10 inches per second. Concurrent with the building alarm will be the activation of an audible signal sounding a steady tone indicating that the system is in the fire mode. It will remain in this condition until the system is physically reset as described later. Notice that the leading edge of the door is equipped with a special sensor so that upon encountering an obstruction it will stop. Only light pressure is required to activate this sensor. Pause momentarily, then continue closing. When the door is in the fully closed position, it can be reopened easily by several methods. The first and most common method is to apply pressure to the green push to open panel as shown. This device is used for egress in fire situations. Only four pounds of pressure applied to this panel will cause the door to retract from its closed position a preset distance. The distance the door retracts can be adjusted in the field. Please contact the One Door Customer Service Office for a detailed description of how to make this change. After retracting to the prescribed opening width, the door will pause and then recycle closed. If the exit hardware is activated again while the door is in the process of opening, it will simply open an additional distance equal to the established opening width. Another method of opening the door is to operate it manually. This can be done either while the door is in the fire or emergency mode or if there is a complete loss of power. The force required to operate the door is consistent with the building code requirements for doors in a means of egress. Only 30 pounds of pressure is needed to set the door in motion, and 15 pounds of force will open the door to its fully opened position. In the fire mode, after the door has been retracted manually, it will then reclose automatically. Finally, the door can be opened by pressing the Open Mute button located above the fire exit hardware. It is recommended that the One Door Fire Guard Assembly be routinely operated at least quarterly. This can easily be done without setting the building into an alarm condition. Simply push the Open Close switch to the closed position and the door will close automatically. When the door is fully closed, the fire exit hardware must be used to reopen the door. A gentle bump will cause the door to completely reopen automatically. Depending on the preset opening distance, you may need to depress the exit hardware more than once. The door is designed, listed, and installed so that it will not close upon power loss in the building unless the loss of power is for a sufficiently long period of time that voltage in the battery falls from 13.8 to around 11 volts. This will substantially reduce, if not virtually eliminate, the nuisance of resetting due to power interruption. Consequently, the majority of times that resetting occurs, it will be because of alarm activation. In these instances, resetting can be simply accomplished assuming that the condition which initiated the alarm has been cleared. Resetting the system is easily done by pushing the open-close switch. 
During the time that the door assembly is being operated quarterly, it is recommended that the following preventative maintenance items be routinely checked. The door assembly is chain driven. The chain is located in a guide track between the tracks where the door travels as shown. The drive sprocket is located immediately adjacent to the DC motor and the return idler can be found at the opposite end. Proper chain tension needs to be maintained to ensure reliable door operation. When checking chain tension, it is preferable that the door be in the fully open or retracted position. Find an approximate midpoint in the opening. The chain should be resting on the chain guide. If it has fallen out of the guide, or if the door refuses to stay in the closed or open position, the tension of the chain may need to be adjusted. Please contact the One Door Customer Service Department for assistance. Following inspection of chain tension, visually inspect the door track system across the entire width of the opening to ensure that there is no damage. Notice that there are two tracks which require inspection. The location of the track system 3 and 1 quarter inches above the ceiling line substantially reduces the possibility of damage. Nevertheless, periodic inspection will ensure proper operation when the door needs to close during an emergency condition. The final preventative maintenance item is the inspection of the leading edge obstruction detector. This part is the aluminum cap on the leading edge of the door assembly. Sensing switches are located behind this cap which are connected to the microprocessor. This edge cap should be firmly attached to the lead post assembly of the door and installed so that the only movement is for the activation of the sensors as shown. If this edge cap is loose or improperly aligned, consult the One Door Customer Service Department to schedule a service call. Just a reminder, we suggest that all One Door Fire Guard doors be operated at least quarterly. The One Door Fire Guard system is the only fire door assembly which is completely electronically supervised. The microprocessor located in the control box receives various inputs from integral door components. This monitoring is continuous, occurring approximately three times per second. If for some reason a fault condition occurs, an audible signal will be communicated from an alarm located on the control box. Let's briefly examine a few of the most common fault conditions. If upon arriving at your building, you find the door either in the open or closed position and you hear an audible fault signal, do the following. Listen carefully to the horn pattern. If it is a one beat pattern which sounds like this, it is communicating the battery voltage is low. This condition will occur if there has been an extended period of loss of AC power. There are two possible causes. First, a loss of AC power. Second, a failed component in the power supply. Locate the open close switch on the lead post. Notice it also has a mute position. The mute will temporarily silence the alarm while you contact the One Door Customer Service Department for technical assistance. If the door is closed, reopen it with the lead post switch or push it back manually. As soon as the fault is corrected, the horn will automatically clear. If the horn is on continuously like this, It means the door is in fire mode and will seek the closed position. As soon as the initiating device, smoke detector or building alarm system, has been cleared, the door can be reset out of fire mode by pressing the open close switch. The door can then be opened and stored out of the way by either manually pushing the door open or by pressing the lead post switch to the open position. This alarm cannot be muted. However, if you prefer the door not to sound the horn when in fire mode, contact One Door Customer Service and arrange for a service call. The field technician can program the door to not sound the horn during fire mode. Other fault conditions routinely monitored by the microprocessor are identified by a detailed description of horn patterns located on page 2 of the owner's manual, which was included along with this video cassette. In all instances, use the reset button to silence the alarm and immediately contact the One Door Customer Service Department for technical assistance. At One Door, we are proud to be a part of providing fire protection for your building. We remain committed to providing the type of world-class products and services that have been part of the One Door tradition for over 30 years. To assist us in more effectively facilitating your needs, we have a direct, toll-free service hotline. 
feel free to contact us at any time by calling 1-800-453-8494. We are confident that you will find One Door Products a welcomed addition to your building and that they will provide the highest level of fire protection possible while minimizing costly service and maintenance work. Thanks for taking the time to review this material and please post our customer service hotline number in a visible location. We are committed to making your job easier and look forward to being of service in the future.